All right, hi everybody. Before wrapping up the fluid statics FE review for you, I want to just throw in a buoyancy question just for a good measure. Um, in this particular case, I have a cylindrical object, right? So that's given a cylinder. You can see the cross sectional area. Um, and actually, the diameter is given, so let me note this right here before I forget. So that's going to be 20 centimeters, is going to be the diameter. Good. Uh, and it's going to weigh 81 newtons. Okay. And then what I do is I can I connect it to a cable and place in water, and I what I when I measure I see the tension of the cable is 51 newtons. The question is asking you from two ends. The reason is I want you to practice for it. The first one is volume related, so the height is being asked. The second one is related to the density of this particular object. Okay, this is a solid object, and in the exam, in case they ask you the specific gravity, it's associated with density. So I'm kind of covering everything that you will be exposed to. Okay, let's go ahead. What is the first thing that we do in a statics course? Yep, I can almost hear you. Free body diagram, right? Doesn't matter, so mechanics, fluid mechanics, it's the same. The first thing is the weight. It's always there, and it's easy, everybody knows this. Pushing it down is 81 newtons. The second one is that I have a tension over there, or rather a cable over there, and that cable has a tension, and that tension is going to be 51 Newtons, right? That's given in the question statement. And what's the third type of force? Well, now this is coming from fluid mechanics. That is a buoyant force, right? I uh, reviewed this for you in the section 2.1, so you may want to revisit that. Okay? So then let's also call this going up as Z and just sum up the forces in the Z direction, and they will be equal to MA as the acceleration will be zero because I'm dealing with a statics uh, case. This whole right hand side will be. 0, right? So let's look at the forces aligned with the positive z, that is 51, that is 50, uh, fb minus 81 will be equal to 0. So from here, I got myself a nice equation, fb is equal to 30 newtons, right? Okay, the next thing is the reference manual uh, explain this in a definition sense. They don't give an equation, so you, you may want to listen to me over here. The buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. So in this particular case, what is the displaced fluid when this is put inside? Obviously, I'm going to neglect this, uh, you know, the cable is too small. Uh, but basically, this will be this volume. Now it's being occupied by the solid. It was occupied by water before. And saying that, hey, Fb will be equal to the weight of that. And we showed this in multiple videos. So that's going to be the specific weight of water. So be careful about this point. Times the volume of this object that I'm interested in, and or you can call it displaced fluid, right? Um, this is given to you, 9810 newton per meter cube in the reference manual. That's good. How about the volume of the object? As this is a cylindrical, you will see that the diameter is 20 centimeters and the height is being asked. So let me go ahead and write this. That's going to be pi times 0 0.2 squared divided by 4 times the h. And if B is 30, that I know. Remember, this is meter cube, right? This is meter square, meter cube, so they cancel, so units match as well. Okay, so from here, you're going to see that 30 is equal to, um, uh, so this is going to be 4, 0 0.01 up there, so it's going to be uh, 98.1 pi h. And if I plug this into my calculator, I'm going to get myself 0 0.097 meters right around 0 0.1 right so if i go up there you will see that the the choice c and choice d are no good it's either a or a b okay so now how am i gonna find the density of this well i underline it the weight of this object is given right the weight of this object is 81 newtons 81 is equal to, as you see here, this is going to be the specific weight of what I'm dealing with. So basically, the density of the object times the gravity times the volume, right? And you do see that this volume is over here, right? It's the same. And G is 9.81. And if I plug this in, I will get myself raw object 
is equal to 2700 right there okay it's going to be kilogram per meter cube each meter cube by the way this is aluminum i did it on purpose each uh, meter cube of aluminum weighs 2.7 tons right so the choice is a over here all right thank you for watching this video this is the end of the fluid statics review for the feet.